Hopefully this is a best of three. If not, we'll just deal with it. Anyways, here we go. Round two versus Biz. Obviously we want to play first, so we'll go ahead and do that. And see, so here's one of those bad hands. Uh, not horrible, but we're going to keep it. So we, we do have the, the Carnosaurus. He's, of course, playing the ramp like we are. And we'll just uh, go right in on this Wild Shard to start things. Actually, I should have played the Shard of Savagery, so that's already a play mistake there. If he doesn't play anything here, I'll probably play the Shard of Savagery this turn. Or actually, I won't, because I need to cycle Root Father. Maybe. Yeah, I probably need to cycle Root Father here. Ooh, there's a Titanias. Yeah, I definitely want to cycle Root Father here because I want to have a better chance to hit it. So we'll cycle it in his end step. So we want to make sure that we do that in his end step. Pretty good chance not to hit a Walking Calamity as there's only one left in the deck, though. It's unfortunate. Next step, sure. End step, we'll go ahead and cycle our Root Father. Draw that. That's not the best because we have no elves to support it right now. Um, we can't play Titanias this turn. Next turn we can, so we'll do that. Play Shard of Savagery for Ruby. So we've got the third wild in hand. So we'll have Titanias next turn. Um, so we get the first Titanias. We'll see if we get if it's going to be enough to stop this. If he plays... Oh, he throws away a Root Father as well. Okay, So we're kind of just doing the same thing. It's kind of a mirror match right now. And we'll see if we can get lucky here. So we're, yeah, we're definitely going in on the Titanias here. This, this matchup, like, the first person that goes is definitely an advantage. And unfortunately, our advantage is not good enough. Because we're going to have to get a pick up a Periwinkle here. So that way we can double the next card. <laughs> Hopefully that'll be enough eventually, but it's not looking good. If he Titanias here and he hits his um, Calamity, it's basically over for us. And we'll go to game two. And the night will be over for me. <laughs> Possibly, yeah. So let's see if he hits his. Yeah, he, yeah we just got Calamity. It's over. <laughs> Woo! Good games. <laughs> oh boy, that's that's how it goes. So sometimes some guys have all the luck. I mean, I guess I can block here and see what happens, but there's really no answer to Titania's after this. There really isn't an out for it in my deck at all. Um, there's no way I can play Titania's. The Felroot Acorn isn't going to do anything for me. The Carnosaurus doesn't do anything for me. Yeah, so we'll just... Yeah, we'll just... Um, oops. Oh, great. Now it's stuck. Why did I... Why did that happen? It's, it's, it's sticking and it's not giving me a... It's not giving me a confirm box here. Great. Oh, great. Okay, good. Alright, here we go. It's just... Oh, it's not... Alright, well, it's not even giving me a thing to, to let him... I can't even hit escape and let him... And just concede the, the combat to him, so... Whatever. We knew we were going to lose there anyways when he, he hits his... Uh, Calamity, and we don't. So, the matchup Carnosaurus is really good here. I don't know if there's anything else I really want to do in this matchup, honestly. If there's anything that's really good that I've got. Cluckadon could be okay here, but probably not that much. Well, I guess Cluckadon could kill, like, an early drop. But so could most of the rest of this stuff. Um, yeah, I think I just save and go, pretty much. I mean, I don't know that there's anything else to do. I could play a Heat Wave for to remove his early dudes. No, I 
think I just save and go. Confirm. So we're definitely going first here. Um, we'll see what happens. So we'll go Ruby, I guess. Or we want to go Wild, actually, in case we draw a Carnosaurus. enough that, let's see, five, six, I'm one away from playing the Root Father, so shuffling it in doesn't seem that advantageous right now, because I could get double Root Father. Double Root Father can actually block a Calamity, but then the Calamity just kills all my dudes anyways, so I guess that's pretty bad. Throws his Root Father, sure. I guess I should have looked at the gems on it. <laughs> Crocosaur. play double Crocosaur. I've got a second one to play here and maybe tempt out something else. I feel like that's okay, given that I can... I guess I should have played a Felroot Acorn there. I think that's fine. Well, let's do that. Yeah, let's play double Crocosaur here. Gives me good offense. You know? I mean, he could play Puck for a lot of different things here, so... And he may think, oh, well, now he doesn't have Crocosaur. Even though I do, I do have a Crocosaur. He may be like, oh, I can play another elf now. He played Crocosaurs. Lots of resources. He's got. And Titania's. Let's see if he hits. He hits Crocosaur. Not going to be good enough. I mean, he can kill my Periwinkle, but then I just play another one. Yeah, five to the face. Sure. He didn't fight my guys, which is kind of interesting to me. Uh, I could gain three health here. I think just that's fine, because I'm going to Crocosaur, get double Crocosaur again, and kill his uh, Periwinkle this time. Except, bam, bam. So I could have done that after combat. Should have done that after combat, honestly, because he probably would have blocked. But I mean, I kind of have him staggered, I guess now. And, okay, it's my periwinkle this time. No. Let's see. He can double block. He should have killed periwinkle by now. I mean. Seems pretty bad. Actually, let's go and do that. Play shard. Do that. Ah, oh, crap. Ugh, I hate it when I make play mistakes. That was such a horrible play mistake. Oh well. 
we're gonna hold up we're gonna hold for a second and then we'll play our root father next turn that was so stupid because the thing is if I swing he can double block or actually he can't double block actually I should have swung Double blocks in the next turn. But then I only have two guys. Yeah, I think I'll just wait. Wait till I can lethal swing with the root father. That was so stupid. I'm playing horribly. If I lose, it's my own fault. It's my own fault. Seven. He's got his root father. Root father for damage. Jeez. But if he swings with both. I just take it. Or I can give up Periwinkle. Or I can give up one Crocosaur. I have an extra Periwinkle. I think I just want to chump it with Crocosaur. Let's just chump it with a Crocosaur. I want to. I want to be able to play two Root Fathers here. So he doesn't have Crush, so we'll just save ourselves all that damage. Yeah, we just play double double Root Father here. And next turn we'll have a swing. Matches me here. He's got this Crocosaur. He's got another blocker. There we go. Double I. Yep. This should win. Yep. Stops it though. I've got chump blockers for days. So I'm pretty safe on this swing. Plus, if he doesn't stop this guy, I get a rhino, so he kind of has to make this block. Chump block there. Probably chump block there. Let five through. He could still top deck a win here with Calamity. Okay, he didn't. I haven't seen a lot of like low end support cards, like except for Puck the Dreamer, so I don't know that Heat Wave would be the best here, anyways. Sin may be okay here, actually. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna side in Sin and we'll see if he goes he does some work here. Or maybe. Sin and the other guy. I don't know. Like Sin and Argus gets killed. Actually, we just want Sin. Let's just take Sin and we'll get rid of maybe 
one Ashwood soloist. Yeah, let's do that. That shouldn't be too bad. Because Sin can fly over his stuff, and we'll see. We'll see if one of us goes crazy again with Eye of Creation or Titanias. Mm, this is pretty bad. Um, I'm going to keep it. So wild, and then wild, and then... Well, actually, wild, and then ruby? So many mistakes. I know. I know. Oh my gosh. I didn't deserve to win that last one, that's for sure. We're going to probably have to pitch one of our larches. Trubidor is okay here. It would be better if I had one more elf. One more elf would make Trubidor a lot better. I don't like Chlorophyllia in this deck because it makes it tougher to hit with your Titanias. I know it gets them ahead and it deck thins, and that that's so in that way it helps, but it feels like it's it hurts more than it helps. If that makes if that makes sense. Okay, and let's see. Do we need to pitch? A large here. Four, five. No, I don't. I don't need to pitch a large. We'll play the acorn for ruby next. Uh oh. Titanius, here we go. Let's see if he wins outright. No, nope, he just gets a uh, crocosar. Just a crocosar, an early crocosar. That's all. So that might actually win the game for him, anyways. We're going to take five from that next turn. Uh, we'll go ahead and play this for Ruby. I could have played that to gain myself he three health, but... <laughs> Alright, so next turn I'll have... Not enough, probably. Um, I'm going to have... <sighs> Let's see. I have five next turn is not enough to play a large. I need a large in play to start blocking this guy. So. Puck the Dreamer, I'll just kill it with a Carnosaurus. Oh, he's going to Carnosaurus my guy. Well, at least I get to Carnosaurus a Puck the Dreamer. Get that Puck the Dreamer. Let's go ahead and do that. Next turn, I get a Larch. Yeah, I guess I could have swapped the gems in Root Father. Take five. I have a blocker, so that's at least five I can stave off, but I should have a large this turn. So. Ugh, I gotta stop. Well, no, Puck the Dreamer doesn't do anything. He's got one card in hand, so I'm not worried about Puck anymore, anyways. So let's just play the large. Play him. Kill his puck next turn, anyways. Chlorophyllia, that's fine. He's out of. So we're, he's in top deck mode, and I'm gonna have two larches. Uh, I'm gonna gain three health. Actually, I'm gonna gain more health than that. Kill that guy. Let's just gain the three health. Sit on board state. Larch next turn. And then I've got, uh, if he keeps, he's top decking shards, he should be holding onto his shards. Well, actually, he probably needs to have them anyways in case he can play top deck calamity. 
Oh, there's my Titania, so let's see what Titania does before combat. And he I'm doing to him what he did to me in game one with uh, Calamity. Now we still have to stay on defense with our Larch, so we'll just swing with Calamity. He gives him... he's got one more turn. At least eight misplays. <laughs> Spell shield does nothing, basically. In this matchup, it does. It doesn't do anything. You're right. I should have cited it out. Thank you.